inside. Outdoors I'm big game. I come alive before opening day. It's a twisted addiction. Calls my name. I gotta get inside. Outdoors I'm big game. We get to go all over the place doing what you and I love to do the most, and that's hunt. But one of the coolest things about IOTV, I think, is we get to bring it all home on tape and we get to share it with you guys. And one of the best things about that is that we'll get to sit back and reflect on all the ups and downs of the season and go through all those emotions all over again. And Lord knows we got plenty of ups and downs. And one of the first things that comes to my mind among many is that trip when we went to Kansas and tried to get you killing your first Kansas turkey. And all the odds were stacked against us on that deal. We uh, just got into Kansas. Still got about an hour before we get to the ranch. But I'm excited. There's some big old birds up here. Got eight minutes of battery. Eighty or eight? Eight minutes of battery. And he's six hundred <laughs> yards out there. There ain't no way that bird's making it here in eight minutes. I'll let that other battery in the truck. Hang on. Kill him. Kill him. You got him. Whew. It's not too bad for my first Kansas turkey. Actually, I'm going to tell you, this is probably the biggest turkey I've killed yet. We got about half an hour to get on the road that <laughs> we'll never make. And, uh, uh, he has truly, truly blessed us. God is good. Whew. Good days, good days. Gotta love a good day. Great days, great. Yeah, pretty sure I've never heard that one on the radio. You were making that stuff up. Well, I had to be singing some kind of song after you had me sweating that hunt walking in the wide open to get in front of the birds and then almost missing the kill shot for having no battery left. We got it on tape, didn't we? Yeah, barely. <laughs> well, you know, Kansas has been good to us. It's given us a lot of opportunities. In fact, the particular farm where you kill that turkey yeah. is a farm that we love to deer hunt. That's right. It wasn't less than a mile from there where you slammed that great eight point. Kansas tag in my pocket. Cold front coming in. Rising moon. November 1st. It's just a wicked combination. We leave tomorrow morning. We'll hunt tomorrow morning if I don't pull it off today. It's the last morning here, or second to last morning right here in Kansas. And getting up at 3.30. Whew, where are you man out?
I think he'll wear that KWP bracelet just fine. Just fine. That is sweet deal right there. Thank you, buddy. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Well, as you guys have probably guessed by now, one of the things that we love to do here at IOTV is hog hunt. Well, you know, you can't beat it. There's no tags, no license, no seasons involved. And as easy as you and I get cabin fever, we've got to have something to go hunt. We've killed a lot of them because we do it all the time, but I've always killed them with a gun. And this year, my goal was to kill one with a bow. That's right. Well, on this first hunt, you did cop out again on the last day and kill one with your gun. But then he got his bow kill, and it was a 270 pounder. The deer season is all over with. We're in between deer season and turkey season. It's kind of itching to kill something with my bow. I haven't killed one of these hogs yet, so we're going to give that a try this morning. I'm going to stick with it, see if I can bring home the bacon with a bow and arrow. <laughs> and then, you know, if not, I'll pick up a gun later and <laughs> supply the table. Don't come in too tight. You ready? Are you on? Are you on? Two hundred on the money. Thank you, Dan. That's two hundred pounds of breakfast sausage and bacon. <laughs> All right, I've been chasing hogs for years. Killed a lot of them, but it's always been with a gun. And every time I take my bow. It never fails, we get to the end of the hunt and I have to grab the gun. This time, it's not gonna happen, I didn't even bring the thing. We should be in the thick of them by looking at these tracks. This is like I-95 down there. Here. That's a giant jack. That is a beast. It's a beast, man. Big old nasty big good googa booga. Holy moly. <laughs> I can't do nothing with him. A lot of fun and a lot of good table fare right there. Golly, that was a big pig. Almost as big as a 430 pounder I killed oh, on last week's we, show. Here we go with the bragging. <laughs> No, I gotta give it to you, 430 pounds, that's a giant. We definitely filled our freezer full of pork this year, but the place where I was hunting when I killed that big black hog there with the slug gun, that was a place called Big Prairie Bucks right here in Oklahoma that also is an awesome place for deer hunt. That's right, it's actually one of our favorite places in Oklahoma to go hunt, and Dave killed another big buck there this year when him and Shane went down early season and happened to pull it off on the very first day. Going down. Back down to Big Prairie Bucks with the Allens and uh, got some incredible trail cam photos of some awesome bucks. We call him Spook. And then he's got this awesome non typical, got some pictures of him. He's pushing upper 180s into the 190s, non typical, real massive deer. And I'm calling him crazy because the horns are just all over the place. And like I say, if they're messing around out here or out here, the travel route, it all comes back to yeah. right there. And that's where our stand's gonna be. Mm -hmm. Shane, right here, right here. Come on, right here. See, this is what we were talking about too. With the spotlight last night, we came in here looking for this deer last night. And this kind of stuff is all in here, which is great for deer hunting. They like the deer like it. 
but it absolutely is horrible for trying to find a deer with a flashlight. Well, hey, there's that right, there. right there. There's your deer right there. Oh my oh goodness. My Oh my goodness. Look at the horn. Look at the horn. Can you believe that? What a beautiful Came buck, up. man. Came Look up. at the symmetry. God is really, really taking care of us, man, on this trip for sure. Oh, this one hurts to watch. Our old nemesis, Illinois. Two years in a row we've gone down there and have yet to bring one of them big boys home with us. But I promise you, it's not for a lack of trying. It's not even for a lack of opportunities because Lord knows we had plenty of those. Little juice for the old Beauville. We got to load it down. We, we made it almost all the way. We got the last little bit. And right there is the gateway to Big Buckville in Illinois. I'm telling you, next year I'm changing this section of the highlights reel. It's my turn to hunt, Dave. Listen to this. You act like it was all my fault. Well, it was Shane that's trying to chop down trees instead of shooting that monster <laughs> buck at 20 yards. <laughs> He's going to kill you for that. <laughs> you know, believe it or not, we are serious about deer hunting. I mean, when it comes to playing the wind right, hanging our stands in the right location, reading the sign right, we're serious. But it would be extremely misleading if we didn't show you guys at least a little bit of how much fun we actually have. 64 at 50 pounds. <laughs> nice. Getting in this is the trick. You gotta, you gotta. Ah! <laughs> Cut there. I hate duck hunting. <laughs> Heck of a deal. A little bit frozen this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. I'm not going to say what that looks like. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that looks Man, I don't know how we're going to get this thing out of here. <laughs> oh! <laughs> He's You're like Dave, always got to get the last word in. Yeah. You're ugly! <laughs> Go away! <laughs> Eat more chicken! <laughs> <laughs> they like that idea. <laughs> I know they're out there. <laughs> <laughs> I like to see them. <laughs> Just grab him by his horns, kind of push that up underneath there, and you want his body to go right up in that carriage, okay? Buddy, my on there like that, and this is, happens to be a big deer. I'm gonna need some help. <laughs> Hang on a sec. And you head out of the woods. And this log is gonna kill me. 
<laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. Take two! Kill him. You got him. <laughs> trying to trying to get the morning started. <laughs> Straight out of the recliner. <laughs> Look at that. How's that for a blind? Got my brand new goose call. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's high tech. I better go get my goose real quick before he runs off. Thank goodness for editing. You know, what you guys get to see on the finished product makes us look like we knew exactly what we needed to be saying at exactly the time we needed to be saying it. That's right, because in all reality, it may take us a couple of hours to get just a couple of minutes of usable stuff for all of our screw-ups. You know, we travel a lot, we hunt all over the place, but we get more requests for this section right here, our screw-ups. Pigeon hunting. Tell me when you're ready. <laughs> ready. Oh. Ready? Here we go. Take two, five, seven, ten. All right. <laughs> well, at least you got your Jake out of the way. I, yeah, that's, you're correct. Do you see the show? Yeah. Thanks for watching. I was the one. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we're out here to get not only the dinner table, but on tape too. Oh yeah. I mean, we didn't get the dinner table on tape. <laughs> Man, we have got hours of footage of you calling in Jake. Hang on, I got a hair. Ready? Hey, get it? That's a little weak on my part. Okay. That's a, and yeah, that's the way we do things. It's not outdoors. It's not light on us. Yeah. Stop making me look at it. <laughs> All right, we're in the rut. Where'd you go? Okay. I'm proud of it. Wait, hold on, you said sure. Ready? <laughs> I'll make sure I heard you. Ready? Ready? Well, we got the deke set out, but after that, it was pretty much just a waiting game until the fog lifted. Yeah, speaking of fog. <laughs> <laughs> Brain fog. Was to, I was supposed to be talking about fog. Ready? <laughs> what do you think that bird would say if he had you by the feet? <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it again. <laughs> You know, sometimes it, when it works out, it really works out, and sometimes it's really working out in your favor. This one didn't work out, though. No, we didn't work out. I need to work out. What? Ready? <laughs> You're opening it. No, you are. Because no. I'm talking about yours. You. Uh, that's right. <laughs> ready? I'm talking about your. You're talking about yours. Okay, ready? <laughs> <laughs> That's some good stuff to know right there. That sure is. <laughs> Glad I could be helpful. <laughs> Ready? Ready? But they know when something changes. And <laughs> oh, I almost pulled it out too. Just to get your last little time. Well you didn't see you should have zoomed in on his face. He gave me one of these. When I look back at him. In the woods, is coming right at us. And it's getting close. Eight seconds. Tim, do it a little more active, okay? Sausage, sausage, country ham. <laughs> you making up a rhyme? <laughs> sausage, okay. sausage, country Ready? ham. Ready? And go. We like it in Come here. we can't. Oh, here we go. Ready? <laughs> It didn't take me that long to write it. And action. Um. <laughs> <laughs> don't you know what action means? Uh, I don't know. What? Most of those are your screw ups. You know, I think it means let's get up and go hunt something. Seriously, enough of this production stuff. We're better at hunting anyway. What are we gonna hunt today? I don't know. There's always hogs. Well, that's true. Something's got to be in season. Yeah, if you don't miss. I gotta get inside outdoors, huh?